it's time for another 5-minute-ish review. I picked up a DVD of 2008's Alien Raiders secondhand from a past co-worker. It sat for months before I finally slipped the disc into the player. I was assuming this would be a cheap attempt at a horror movie with bad CGI and for it to be an excuse for some burgeoning makeup effect artist to show off their talent. I could not have been more wrong. A small town grocery store is getting ready to close for the night when a group of armed men and women take the store and its occupants hostage. One of the group goes from person to person apparently looking for something. One woman is, as he says, one of them, and she's immediately shot dead. Other people are checked by the man and spared. A local off-duty police officer shoots and kills the man doing this testing before he is shot himself. The group moves on to Plan B. They release everyone who's been cleared by their tester and chain the doors behind them. The remaining hostages are taken to the back room for a more invasive and painful test. With police on the outside, and if the terrorists are right, an alien parasite and one or more of the hostages on the inside, everything points to it being a very long night. As I said, I was expecting something cheap and stupid. I was definitely not expecting a film this suspenseful, mysterious, and well-acted. Ben Rock cut his teeth working as a production designer on hits like The Blair Witch Project. He created The Stickman that has become synonymous with that film, but this is his first feature film as a director. He was able to take what could have easily been a fam- very familiar sci-fi slash horror theme and make it feel new and fresh. Alien Raiders has elements of the Thing and Invasion of the Body Snatchers woven throughout the film. Rock brings back the fear of not knowing. Are these terrorists crazy, or are there alien parasites? If there are, then are they among us? And if so, who is it? Is it them, or is it you? The makeup and gore effects are great, and used sparingly and not gratuitous, making them even more effective when they are used. The cast is as strong as any major Hollywood production, and maybe even better than some. Many of the characters are the typical archetypes you'd expect. Among the hostages, there is the pretty girl, the nerdy kid who likes the pretty girl, the rude boss, you know, etc. And the terrorist, there is the obligatory gun-ho, shoot them all and let God sort them out later type. And to balance him is the one that is a bit more sympathetic. And then there's the leader of the group who is the more practical one. Carlos Bernard, maybe best known for playing Tony Almeida in the series 24, is fantastic as the man torn between his conscience and having to do what is necessary. His gang of terrorists have to hurt a few to try to save millions, but that decision doesn't come easily or lightly. As far as the title of the film, most reviewers have said, and I agree, that the title is terrible. Studio Interference saddled this with Alien Raiders. I've spoken to the director on Twitter, and he says the film was going to be titled Inhuman until about a week before completion, which in my opinion is a much more ambiguous and appropriate title. The moniker Alien Raiders is probably 90% of why I was expecting the camp fest that I was. I'm not going to say that directors always know what's best for their film, but in this case, Warner Brothers should have listened. Alien Raiders is available to rent from services like Apple TV, Amazon, Google Play, YouTube, Vudu, and DirecTV. A DVD is also available to purchase from multiple online stores. It is absolutely worth a few bucks it would take to stream it, so I give this a strong recommendation for a future viewing. If you do, or if you've already seen Alien Raiders, let me know what you think of the film. What did you expect before you hit play? All the contact information and social media links can be found by following the link in the show notes. I look forward to hearing from you.